I'm uh, Brian Harrison, I'm the Chairman Stroke President of Stanley Indoor Bowl Centre. Situated uh, above Asda, uh, in the centre of the town. The club's been here since 1977. It's always been quite a successful club. We've got approximately between 180 and 200 current members, uh, ladies and men. When I became the Chairman of this club in 1986, I think it was, um, the first thing I thought about was because it's always been a successful club in terms of competitions and winning of competitions, it was never an international venue. So I decided we would try and approach the hierarchy of bowls, commonly known as the EIBA, which is the England Indoor Bowls Association, and asked if there was a possibility that we could host an international event. Um, the international event that we were offered in 2011 was the Home International Series, which is England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales and the Channel Islands. The, the competition literally goes on for two weeks because there are so many different in events tied into it. Um, and we were offered the opportunity in 2011. We were so successful in doing it, um, we were asked in 2013 if we could host it for three years in succession, which has never been done by any club in the history of bowls, which goes back to the early 1900s. We were successful in applying and receiving um, grants from all these different people uh, to help to do the event. And then we carried it forward, knowing that over a fortnight, we would attract somewhere in the region of 10 to 12 to 15,000 people from all over the continent, really. Uh, so from there, um, because we now got a reputation for hosting international bowls events, I sat down with the County Council and a guy called Carl Marshall to try and find a way to get our own grandstand which was a key component in what we wanted to do so from there from the 2015 event the in, the uh, international event we then started uh, bringing in television events and of course from there our reputation grew till we host under 25 international events ladies and uh, men when i was much much younger when i was first playing balls it was classed as an old man's sport something that people did when they retired or you know when they were out of work or they couldn't play golf anymore so over the years myself and a lot of other uh, senior people from various sports clubs have got together and we try to make it more accessible to younger people so the the remit was to change the stance of bulls from being what was termed as an old man sport to a much more younger diversified crowd it's got that now that there's more people who are under 25 play bowls, uh, ladies and gentlemen, than probably the older clientele. So across the board, it's a, it's a, it's a really, it's a change, it's a change sport. Uh, the members take great pride in what they've got here. Um, we've got a blue carpet out there, which would seem strange to a lot of people, given the fact that it's usually a green sport. But the reason for the blue carpet is it attracts television. We have a large social club. What I did when I became the chairman of this club was kind of sat down and implemented a, um, a new kind of system in the club where we can actually split the club in two. We've got the Bowls Arena out there. We can also close the curtains, which are just behind me. And we have a, a quite a big social side of Stanley Indoor Bowls, which hosts like we, every Saturday night, we have a social event every Wednesday night. Sunday nights, we have quizzes on. We've got members here from as far away as Whitley Bay, Tynemouth, Durham, um, Gateshead, Newcastle. Um, we have a, a large amount of people who support the club from a distance. I would say to people, come and have a go. It's worth it. We have people who will help to coach you. We have people who will help you just to go through the basics of what you do. Um, it's a wonderful sport. It's not taxing. It's a case of you get where you want to be with balls. You can either be a top line player who's who's watched who's watched and wanted to go, or you can be just somebody who comes in. No embarrassment. People come in from all walks and just come in and just have a good time. We also host disability bowls. Now, this time last year, before the lockdown started, we hosted an international disability bowls event, which went on for three days. And the people from all over this country, all over the country, came here for a disability event, which was absolutely phenomenal. The sport's available and open to anybody. It's just a case of coming through the doors. Don't feel embarrassed. Just come in, meet one of the people in here, and we'll show you all the hospitality we possibly can.